Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to install Trustpilot reviews for your WooCommerce store in 2023. Trustpilot is a leading online review platform that helps business build trust and credibility with their customers. By integrating Trustpilot reviews into your WooCommerce store, you can showcase your reputation and attract more potential buyers and in this video we will guide you in step by step on how to set up Trustpilot reviews on your WooCommerce store. So stay tuned and let's get started. The first thing that I will need you to do guys is simply launch your browser and then go to here into the URL section and search for WooCommerce. So launch your WooCommerce store. Here you can just go to this website and set up your first store if you don't have it. If you have it, just go ahead and open it. This is pretty easy. So for me, I'm just going to my local host because I have it in it. And then I'm going to launch the dashboard from here. So let's click over here. And here we go. Now, in order for me to add the plugin, I will have to go to this menu over here. And then I will go ahead and click on add new. So here we go, guys, we are on this page. Now, to add the plugin, we will have two methods. The first one, which is clicking over here on this button and then click on it. Here, it will open us this page. So you'll have to choose a file from your PC and then install it. So for example, we can download Trustpilot from another website. So Trustpilot plugin for WooCommerce. And let's change this to Trustpilot. So trust pilot. So here we go. And now you can click in here on the WooCommerce web page and then simply go ahead and click on free download. After that, go ahead and click on proceed to checkout and make sure to fill all of this information. As you can see, it is free 100%. So you don't have to pay anything. And then go ahead and click on pay with 0, 0.00 so now you will have two options they will give you two two options like you can choose from them. the first one which is adding it to site automatically so they will add it to your site automatically and the second one which is downloaded so by downloading it you will have the zip file this zip file you can actually just click here to choose a file and drag it from here and it's all now. Of course, you can just save time just by clicking on add to site and it will be added automatically. Now, the second way, which is just by clicking over here on the keyword section and search for it. So search for Trustpilot and then wait for it until it loads. As you can see, Trustpilot reviews. So here it is. It is for WooCommerce, as you can see. Now, all you need to do is simply click on it to download it. So you just have to click on download. So let's do that. Here we go. And let's click on install now. And then let's wait for it. As you can see, it is downloaded. You can click here to see more details about it if you'd like to. So here they are the settings and everything about it. So now I'm going to click over here and then activate it. Now, all you need to do is wait for it until it takes you to this page. Go and click on Active Plugins and see if it is over here. So, Trustpilot Reviews, here it is. So, let's click on it. You can either click on here to Settings or just click on it here on the menu. So, let's go from here to Settings. Here it is. The page has uh, to be on the HTTPS protocol. For me, I have a local host, as you can see, I don't really have the HTTP or HTTPS, that's why it is not working. So this problem will, you will face it a lot if you had a problem like me. So what you have to do is make your website online on a real like domain name with an HTTPS like certificate. So simply when you actually do that, and you finish with that and you fix everything with your HTTPS and everything, you will have actually the settings that will allow you to do a lot of things. Let me show you some examples. So if I went back to this page, here you will have some ideas about what it does. So first of all, 
you will have somehow like a design next to your products. You will have some reviews as you can see here, the stars, you can have stars over your page as you can see, you can add them and add them and like make whatever design you like. Here there is some other example how it's gonna look like in the search engine. So you will see your the name of the article, the link, description, and then the rating, which is really really cool looking. Here another example or of how the product will look. So green means the the our customers are very happy. This is like a cool service, and the red is bad service. Here they will give you analytics of everything in your dashboard, so you can see everything in detail, for like how much customers you had, how much orders you had, how much reviews you had, and each like person like what if you he 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 did analytics of of how many five stars you had four stars and three stars and which products you are gaining the most reviews from uh, also you can get like um anti spam for fake reviews it will like have like a trust bot that will not allow AIs or like robots or something like that to comment on your uh, product to make it go down so this is really really cool feature that will actually protect your website from having a bad reputation and it will make sure that way that you only have five stars or four stars or more in your products this is another example on how the reviews are gonna be looking like in the home page so like they will leave you like a comment you can pin it in the home page so everyone can see it and you will have here automated 100 servers or product review invitation per month uh, you can invite past customers to leave a review uh, use two trust box widgets to showcase review counts and invite reviews on site and much more and yeah you can see here everything that that this plugin is actually going to help you with and yeah as you saw it is pretty easy to add pretty easy to download all you need to do is go back to your plugins in your dashboard click here to add new and start from there and you will have it ready to go just make sure guys that it is active as you can see and you will be able to work it out but make sure also that you have the website on HTTPS mode so you have the SSL certificate if not the plugin is not gonna work for you so yeah guys this is pretty much it I hope to learn something from this video if you have any questions or problems during this process of adding the plugin make sure to leave them down below in the comment section I will make sure to leave all your comments with like answers so yeah guys thanks for watching please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video